Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger Boats and Lance Campers. And we've got another beautiful day here to do a video. I had to take a few days off because of the uh, rainy weather we had, but you know, it's cleared up. We're looking good now. So today, today we're gonna be looking at this 2024 Lance 1985. I had a little pause there because I uh, didn't know how to break it to you. I've had this thing for about a month now or so. Totally forgot about it and didn't even get it uploaded on RV Trader or the website or anything until last week. So uh, knowing that much information, I just knew that I probably haven't done a video on this thing yet. So, you know, every once in a while, something does slide through the cracks and doesn't get uploaded. And that would be this uh, 1985. And this is probably the worst one to forget about too, because this is one of my best deals on the lot. Lance sent me this one. They're trying to get me number one and uh, I appreciate it. They're floating me these campers and everything. This is only $52,200. And if you've done any research like I did on RV Trader or you know Facebook or whatever, whatever your go-to market is to look at a camper, you know that 522 for a 2024 Lance 1985, you just don't see that. The cheapest 24 I saw was around $56,000. And the cheapest 2023 leftover model that I saw online was $51,800. I'm gonna give the extra 400 bucks for the uh, Lance 2024 over here, right? That only makes sense anyways to me. I'm not gonna give 400 less to buy a 2023 that's probably sat on the lot for a year or more. Um, but anyways, yeah, $52,200 for this 2024 model, 1985. And let me show you how good of a deal that is. Retail is $74,906. All right, so that just shows you we're here to sell stuff. We don't like hanging on to things. I want to sell everything I've got and then get more and sell those too. So uh, I'm working my way towards number one. And uh, apparently this year we're not doing trophies. Um, last year I got a top five in the nation uh, truck camper trophy and was told this year that we're number one and no trophy this year. So I guess Lance is making budget cuts. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we'll get on with this tour. Let's take a look at this thing. I've been yapping my mouth too much. So uh, for starters, this thing weighs in at 5,147 pounds dry. That's with all of our options over here such as you know the antenna wi-fi extender the awning slide out cover battery monitor backup camera uh what else we got here lance roof rack system revolution entry step shock absorber package and the 190 watt solar panel all the other cool things like uh, uh let's see side awnings uh four season package and you know just about everything else water heater ac unit is all standard for this 24 model now for future 24 models i'm hearing that all this stuff is going to be optional so this is where we're getting you know confused customers calling in here asking me why doesn't it have an ac unit and it does it's just you know the new 24s that you're going to be ordering from here out everything's supposed to be an option again so uh don't ask me why i don't get it they just like to change things every once in a while all right let's check out the inside of this thing all right, so we'll do just a quick overview here, and then I'll get more in detail. All right, so we'll start up here at the front. So this one has the Murphy bed. Uh, a lot of people ask me, Brad, can you tell that these fold in half? And the answer is no. If you were to lay on this thing without knowing that it had a couch underneath it, you would never know that this mattress folds in half. And I'll just show you what it looks like uh, made into a bed here real quick. All right, so first, take these little arms here. Find somewhere else for them. Shake it loose. Oh, there we go. Nice catch, right? Take this. Pull on it. It's like a little futon. Take your mattress pull it and what that take maybe 15 seconds then you lay down on it ah. 
All right, so I hope that gives you a good visual. Like I said, this is a really comfortable mattress and you probably never know that it actually folds in half unless you've seen it folded in half. So to get everything out of the way or uh, set up for the couch, you just reverse everything we just did. All right, so up here in the bed area, this window actually does kick out. It is a dual pane window. And what I was told is the reason they went to the dual pane acrylic style windows is uh, for insulation purposes. Your insulation is only as strong as its weakest source and your weakest source is always the windows. So glass being a conductor, of course, lets a lot more heat through. Dual pane acrylic style windows let a lot less through and they're tinted as well. Hard to see through. Um, got Casper the ghost here locking me in this camper. But uh, I don't even remember what I was just talking about because of the door. But uh, that's why they went to uh, the acrylic style windows is uh, for insulation purposes. All right, so we got the overhead reading lamps here. You hit the little button once, you'll get a little blue light around the uh, touch button there. I'd show you, but I don't have power hooked up to it. And then uh, you hit it again and that turns on the uh, white reading lamp. You also have lights above up here in this area too. It all lights up whenever you hit this switch here and that turns on the lights underneath here and there. So you control both from both sides. Then you have two 110 outlets here and then USB and DC outlet and the same ordeal you're going to find on this side. So my CPAP users, you don't have to run cables or cords behind each other. Uh, heads up here in the bed area. You both got your own plug-ins. Same for phone charging or whatnot. Two pull-out drawers. Well, one pull-out drawer, just another one on the other side. Everything's pretty much identical here. Got the hers and hers closet. As you can see here. Got the key rack down at the bottom. Up top, we've got the uh, Max Air Fan with the built-in rain sensing. If it starts raining, it's supposed to close itself. We've got a uh, little curtain here so you can get some privacy in the bed area. Now, it's not soundproof, so careful what you're doing back there. Then you just simply close it on back. We've got ducted AC throughout the camper there. There, there's your AC unit is a Coleman Mach 11. Look at how much headspace I have even with the AC unit right here. There's gotta be at least what, like three or four inches there between my head and the ceiling. And I'm six foot one without shoes. So with shoes, gotta be six, one and a half. All right, so uh, we've got our dinette over here. This does make into a bed. That's why I got my handy dandy Stanley measuring tape. Lance does not say on the website how big this is, so at least that I can find anyways. So I'm going to measure it myself, and I'm going to relay the information to you guys and girls, and uh, we'll see what size dinette this is. But I figured I'd show you how to make it into a bed. Action. All right, so this is actually so simple. Wiggle this loose right here, this little top. Take this pole underneath here. Take this top, slide it in on these little ledges. Let me show you the ledges. See them ledges? Sits right on top of them. Get you, get you right, right there again. All right, so next you're gonna take this little extra cushion on the back end of that U-shaped U dinette, throw it up underneath the table. That way it gets out of the way. Take these backing cushions, that your back sits up to, and boom. Boom. Now I like to do it that way, because if you look at it, it's all kind of squared off right here, whereas if you did it the, hang on, there we go. If you did it the other way, it's rounded. We don't want rounded edges out here. Plus it looks nice and neat with the gray, gray, dark gray, gray, gray. It's like a little pattern. All right, let's measure this thing. I don't have to put you back over there to do that. All right. 
So, we got 40, 49 by Seventy-eight. So forty-nine by seventy-eight. That's a pretty good size uh, little bed there. Let's see what I look like on it. Take the shoes off. And oh, I got plenty, plenty of space here. Oh yeah. Even sideways, you got more. That's uh, very roomy, and this is actually really comfortable. It's almost like it's a, a mattress of its own. All right, now that we're done with the dinette, actually, I don't think we are done. I didn't show you the pull-out drawers. All right, so you got two pull-out drawers. That's my bad, sorry about that. There we go. Two good-sized pull-out drawers. Now, let's do the kitchen. All right, so we got the European-style cabinetry. And all of these, uh, like what makes up the cabinets, this uh, wood stuff, this is actually called Europly, and it's uh, shipped in from Italy. So, very fancy imported stuff here. Got good room over here. I thought that this was really neat, these little pull-out doors. Same thing there at the bottom. That. Then, uh, looks like I uh, need to drain that. <laughs> from where it's been winterized. 110 outlets. We got a, you can make more, uh, let's see, countertop space with these sink covers where you can remove them. And then you've got your single, single dish sink or single bowl. I don't know what you call that. I do know what you call it. I just kind of have brain parts time to time, so. But yeah, so for a little bit more prep area if you need it, you got this, and then this little kick out uh, over here, then lock, uh, lock it in here on the bottom. Then you got even more countertop space. I don't really like where that's mounted. I would like it to be kind of flush right here, but well, this is curved, so that'd be hard to do and make it look right. But Oh no, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I feel like there could have been something different done there. All right. Got plenty of storage for pots, pans, red solo cups, paper plates, real plates, whatever you use. Microwave, just a little standard microwave here. Three burner stove top. It does have a removable griddle for uh, easy cleaning. Then a nice little oven down here. Certainly big enough for a pizza. All right, we've got our two way fridge here. It's very good size. Plenty of space in there for all your, your cores or whatever your beverage of choice is. Sandwich meats. And up here, there we go. Thought it was locked at first. Got a freezer. So it is a separated fridge and freezer. Okay, what else? Got our uh, nice size TV here. JBL radio. Little JBL subwoofer as well. You can get this thing banging in here. And a little bit of shelf space for, I guess, uh, you know, DVDs or card games or whatever you want to use that for. Back here in the bathroom. This is a massive bathroom because they utilize the whole rear end of the trailer for it. So we got a nice size shower over here. Let me stand in here for uh, reference. Like I said, I'm six foot one. I have plenty of head space and definitely thanks to this uh, skylight here. Take a look at that. This here, let's see. So I would have to squat just a hair to utilize this without hanging on to it and doing my, doing my deal here, but no, I don't mind to do that either. So watch the head coming out. Not even really that, uh, not even really that dangerous. I didn't, I didn't really have to squat down at all for that, but maybe a little. A little bit of cabinet space here behind the mirror. Single dish sink. <laughs> Said that again. Single bowl. Some storage underneath the sink. 
see what kind of John space we got here. It's uh, with that. Oh, it takes uh, everything with it. Let's, uh, I just sit down here. Oh yeah, yeah, plenty of space. Look at this. Look at all this knee room right here. Close the door like you would. If you were really doing this. What is going on here? Oh, okay. Latches there. All right. Okay, so yeah, I definitely have a ton of space in here to do, do my business. So would you. All right, so all this knee space, definitely, definitely enough room. Hello. It's kind of, kind of awkward to video yourself on the toilet, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Show everybody what their, you know, their possibilities. Another little hers and hers closet. Actually, there's no no wall, so it's just the hers closet. We got three of those in this camper. Some more pull-out drawers. Nice space. Two more over here. A little marking. Oh no, it's just a piece of dust or something. Got ducted heat all throughout the camper as well. That's what them little uh, the black holes are. Toilet paper holster, one tin outlet for uh, hair dryers and straighteners and all that fun stuff. All right, and again, this is the 1985. Let me show you the outside of this thing. All right, how about we start out at the front of the camper up here? All right, so up here you're going to find your Tri Five, is what Lance calls it, propane tanks. They are three 20 pound or five gallon propane tanks, whatever you like to call it. Uh, we've got a little gap right here for the weight distribution hitches to mount. That way you don't have to cut into this or remove it or anything. We've got our dog chain holder or dog leash holder. That does work. I had one on my camper and it held a great dane. So um, plenty of strength there to hold uh, your puppy or big dog. All right, we got our uh, smart jack here on the front. This does have an uh, auto memory deal. Or if you hold it so many times or so many, so many seconds, it has a setting for the hitch height um, and all that fun stuff. All right, TPO nose here. It's like your car bumper, very durable. They don't use laminate fiberglass or diamond shield or diamond plate down there. That looks all, you know, jankety, I guess you could say. We got a clean look here on the front. This is one of our two battery compartments. It's on a slide out, so it just slides in and out very easily. And then you wanna make sure that it locks into place so it does what it's supposed to do and keep your battery in there. Here's our generator compartment. This is big enough for two 2,000 watt generators to run in parallel. Battery disconnect switch. This is not a dry box. This is just an extra storage compartment to keep stuff that you don't mind getting wet. Maybe uh, maybe your gray tank drain hose or fresh water hoses or something like that. Got our toy lock there underneath. That's good for your e-bikes or kayaks or anything else that you don't want to go missing. That right there is to drain our fresh water tank and you do have an onboard 45 gallon fresh water tank. All right. In this uh, super slide, we've got a nice size uh, storage door here. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there. I never figured out what all to put in my uh, tow behind, but you know, coming out of a truck camper, you learn how to pack light. This right here is your trim a combi system or combi, whatever you like to you know call this. C-O-M-B-I, so whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. But this is your uh, your water heater and your furnace all in one right here. My previous camper had this system and I have zero complaints. Trim is good all around though. Parking satellite connections. Outdoor shower for everybody that look, likes to give their fellow campers a show. Or rinse off the puppy paws or your feet. Say you got sand on your feet or mud on your boots or something. Got our uh, 30 amp plug in here on the side. Black water tank flush. City water connection. Do not get these mixed up. 
and do not use the same dang hose that you use for your drinking water for your poo-poo uh, uh, flush. It's not, not good. Might get some sort of infection that way. All right, so we got our gray tank and our black tank and it all leads out this uh, very bottom tube. And your gray tank is 40 gallons and so is your black. Then we got electric stabilizers around all four corners. This right here is where you stow your sewage pipe. Got a designated bumper for that. First thing you want to do though, drill through there and run your little pin through it because these caps are always the first to fly out if they're not secured. Got us a, a hitch here on the back, or a receiver, excuse me. We got a receiver on the back that's rated for 300 pounds. We'll go up on the roof here in a minute. Oh yeah, backup camera. You can see what's going on behind you. All right, so we're on the fun side now, which is what I call the campgrounds, campground side. We got a massive awning here on this side, takes up the whole side of the camper, and it actually covers the door, which is amazing. So. That's always what you want, you know, awning over the door there if it's raining. But um, anyways, this is a automatic awning. You don't have to manually pull it out. And it does have auto wind sensing. So if it gets too windy, it's going to roll itself back in as long as you have the power on to it. And then you have a nice LED light strip at the end of it as well. These uh, JBL speaker holders, you have a little portable JBL speaker that comes with the camper. These things are always, they don't last long at all outside. As you can see, it's already got some surface rust on it. This thing ain't even old. So like I said, it's a 2024 model and this is already looking like dog crap. Wish they just stopped putting them things on there. All right, they look good inside the camper though, <laughs> out of the elements. All right, so uh, this right here is for your external TV mount. And then you've got uh, DC and USB outlets or AC outlet. If, so that would be if you have a DC powered TV, you plug in here. If you have an AC powered TV here. Overflow vent for the fresh water tank to make sure you don't overfill it and explode it. And then this is where you fill your 45 gallon fresh water tank. Four season certified. Uh, we're good for all seasons as long as you leave the furnace going that enclosed basement is going to withhold the heat and keep your tanks warm and your water lines warm and then we're certified green go earth baby got a external propane connection down here this uh, massive storage area we have a huge pull out bin just keeps on going and going like the energizer bunny is open here on the side for your fishing poles or uh, whatever else you need a little bit of length for that you can't stow in there and then lance comes with the nice uh table that you can set up all right that's where you control your stabilizers and then here is our second battery compartment just right here All right, let's make our way up to the roof. Oh wait, hang on. Right here, if you got an extra portable solar uh, panel with you, you can plug it in right here on the side. All right, now let's go to the roof. All right, I'm on the roof. This is a fully walk-on roof. We got a uh, nice, very durable roof material here. It's got a 20-year roof warranty on it. And let me tell you, this thing's not skid and it feels very puncture resistant if you were to get it up against some tree limbs. So very nice, very durable. Got our awning slide out cover. Some people don't like these and I don't get it. I don't wanna get up on the roof and sweep pine needles off of it every time I close my slides. So I, I've always got a slide out cover on any of my campers that have a slide. Lance load rack system that is rated for 500 pounds. Yes, I said 500. There's our max air fan. And it's already got the mounts built in in case you wanted to install one of those uh, Max Air 2 covers. You have to get the second one for the power vent certification, I guess you would call it. Coleman Mach 11 AC unit. Plenty of AC for this camper. 190 watt solar panel. That buddy is huge. King uh, Jack for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the TV cell phone booster 
I have no idea what those really do. I've never used one. But uh, supposedly boost your cell phone signal if you run your service through it. Radio antenna, uh, poo poo tank vent, fan for your bathroom. And like I said, right now I am standing right over the bathroom. This whole back piece right here, this whole back section is your bathroom in this thing and that's why it's so big. All right, everybody, I think I showed you everything I know to show you on this thing. And like I said, this was totally my fault, totally my mess up that this thing wasn't uploaded sooner. So, you know, sometimes you get so many campers in, you get so busy, one slides through the cracks. Unfortunately, this was the one that needed to be showed because it's the best deal on the lot. It's $52,200. Uh, the original retail was around 74, if I remember correctly. I never pay attention to MSRPs because those don't matter. That's an imaginary made up number. My number, the BSRP number is 52 too. That's all that matters. I don't, I don't charge extra BS fees, no prep fees, no show you how to use your camper that you just bought and spent a lot of money with us fees. No, uh, no other, no dumb fees like that. So um, we, we could set you up a weight distribution hitch. Of course that's extra. Uh, that doesn't come with a camper or anything, but um yeah let me know uh I've, I've been all over rv trader looking at these things and the cheapest one i found was 51.8 for a 2023 they may have fees that knock this thing above what i got so who knows i'm not going to start calling dealers out I, you know i ain't got no beef with other dealers i'm here to do me so um if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up let's youtube know that i might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch if you're new to the channel or not new and you just haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Join this Fish and Fun family. We're over 28,400 subscribers now, and I've got a goal to uh, continue to grow this channel. I don't really have a certain number in mind. It just, you know, comes down to how many people like me, I guess. Um, if you want to stay up to date with the uh, latest and greatest videos, hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload again. Um, if you're interested in any Lance campers, let me know. 423-892-6272. Uh, My name's Brad. I'd love to help you with anything uh, as far as, you know, questions or looking for the right camper for you or boat or, you know, anything. We sell boats, all sorts of boats here. Pontoons, uh, bass boats, center consoles, aluminum, walleye, all of them. Um, and then Lance uh, pull behinds and truck campers as well. So 423-892-6272. That's the dealership number here, and just ask for Brad. I'd love, I'd love to help you. Um, what else? Really, I think that's it. So, um, oh yeah, if you have a truck camper that you'd like to sell, and it's, uh, you know, say seven years or newer, no issues, it's clean, uh, give, give us a call, we might buy it from you. Um, we do really well at selling used campers. Um, insurance doesn't allow us to do consignments per se that's a really touchy subject i guess i don't know i i asked about it too but um we have uh bought used campers so uh give me a call of course it's not going to be what you could sell it yourself for um because there'd be no purpose in us buying it but yeah just uh let me know 423-892-6272 y'all take care enjoy this beautiful day and i'll see you on the next one